trick or treat, smell my feet, now you got a foot fetish. So, uh, it's like Halloween, you know, and, uh, I just don't give a shit anymore. Whatever, uh, I guess I should make a Halloween video, uh, whatever. Top 5 Goosebumps books from a guy who hasn't read a Goosebumps book in, like, a decade. So, uh, yeah. Let's fucking do this. Number five is Ghost Beach. And I remember my mom asking me what book I want from the bookstore. And she was going to go get it for me. And so I, I, I asked her for Ghost Beach. Goosebumps. And she came home with Ghost Camp. And it's like, wow, smooth move, you fucking bitch. How, do you, how can you fuck up that hard? I gave you a specific fucking order and you got me Ghost Camp. I want a ghost beach, you fucking stupid bitch. What's your fucking problem? You know what? Uh, when you're 69 years old and you're asking me to, to give you the medicine because you're having a heart attack on the floor, how about I just give you fucking Tic Tacs? Same fucking thing, fucking bitch. Ghost camp, ghost beach. Why don't you learn fucking words, you dumb fucking bitch? Number four, a shocker on shock street. Suck my cock. Man, that cover used to honestly scare me back in the day. Just look how freaky that thing is. I consider this to be the uh, Blade Runner of the Goosebumps franchise because both of the characters turn out to be robots. Yeah, all of that didn't matter because robots have no feelings. <laughs> Number three, the blob that ate everyone. Happy! Number two is it came from beneath the sink. You could tell R.L. Stein was running out of ideas because he wrote a story about an evil sponge. Then the book ends with a killer potato at the end. Uh, I guess this proves that the uh, mainstream media hates Irish people. I, 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 I don't know what to interpret from this book. Th this one was kind of stupid. And the number one Goosebumps book is Calling All Fucking Creeps. It was made in a much more simpler time of society. Before school shootings, if a classmate wanted to get revenge, all he had to do was turn uh, his classmates into monsters with cookies. That was the common thing of the 90s. Why can't we go back to the 90s, back when there was no violence at all? Hashtag, bring back the 90s.